Hey guys, welcome back. Wednesday night. Sun is out. I got the garage door open here. Hopefully you guys got out and got some fresh air today. Cruised around on your bike, went for a walk, played with your dogs. Uh, if you guys joined us last night, uh, hopefully you recovered enough. Last night was that strength workout. Oh, uh, that purely strength, isometric workout. Um, just that high, high, high intensity, low volume workout tonight. Like every Wednesday, we're going fingers and forearms again. So hopefully you guys saw that list I put up earlier. Hopefully you have some of that stuff. Uh, for those of you that are new, have never been with us before, over at Summit, I'm Coach Kuby. We're doing these every night of the week, weeknights at six. Uh, but just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean we're not doing classes at another time. You know, it came out. Not the best way to phrase that, but what I mean is we do classes all the time, year round, spring, summer, fall. We're not doing this just because of the quarantine. We're doing the live videos just because of the quarantine. So hopefully after all this is over, if you guys haven't been to the gym, come on over, take a class, because that's what we specialize in is strength training, and we happen to have a niche in climbing. The climbing walls you guys see behind me, the big cave behind me. Uh, so tonight, like I said, we're going fingers and forearms. So get those tools ready, like normal, get your resistance band, uh, get your broomstick, I got mine on the ground over there. An assortment of balls, tennis balls, football, whatever you got. Uh, rubber bands, just get it all, get it all ready. If you don't have any of that stuff, no worries, we'll make do. Uh, new one tonight, get a tablecloth or a bed sheet. Hopefully something's strong enough to hold your body weight. All right, let's get going with the warm up. Would you guys start with 20 jumping jacks? You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Going 20 jumping jacks, I just got done ride my bike around i'm nice and warmed up uh, so as soon as you guys get those 20 jumping jacks in go nice and fast 20 is getting that whole body moving as soon as you get those 20 jumping jacks in we're going scapular pull-ups 10 of them uh, if you guys aren't familiar with scapular pull-ups if you have not been to some of before we do these a lot so you're not doing a full pull-up grab that pull-up bar or hang board and here i'm just contracting my shoulders driving my chest up towards the ceiling a release chest up towards the ceiling, slight bend in my elbows. All right, so I'm just going 10 of those. That's the first, the sturdy move of the pull-ups. So you're not going full scap, not going full pull-ups, scapular pull-ups. If you have a pull-up bar, go overhand grip, so palms away from you. The pronated grip is what we like to call that here. We got some new people joining us tonight. Nader's gonna Nate. No, you've joined a couple times. Nader's gonna Nate. Well, well, the Wisconsin Climbers Association. Well, wow, thanks for joining us. Who's running the, uh, WCA page, you know, there's a bunch of board members. I don't know who's actually running the page, so whoever it is, welcome in. Uh, as soon as you guys finish those 10 scapular pull-ups, again, just hang in, contracting the shoulders together up on the hang board or the finger board. As soon as you finish those scapular pull-ups, go back into jumping jacks, 20 jumping jacks again. Get that body moving fast, nice general warm up here. After those 20 jumping jacks, go one more time on those scapular pull-ups. They're getting hanging. If you don't have a hangboard or pull-up bar, you know the same motion, hanging underneath your table like we've done a lot before. So planting your heels on the ground, reaching under the table, and just driving your chest up towards the bottom of that table, bringing those shoulder blades together. So that's the alternative. Everyone good on that? All right, give you guys a few more seconds to get through those two rounds of 20 push up or 20 jumping jacks. And we've been doing a lot of push ups, giving you guys a break on those tonight. Uh, 20 jumping jacks, 10 scapular pull ups, two times through that. All right, uh, get into the meat of the workout. Uh, grab your resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, get your dumbbells. If you don't have your dumbbells, get your backpack stack full of all your books and rocks and whatever, whatever you have around the house. Uh, we're starting with finger curls. Again, they shouldn't be too hard right now, just getting the fingers moving, so pretty, you know, a little bit more specific warm up. We just got through that general warm up. Go a little bit more specific warm up. So like we were doing last night, step on your resistance band for these finger curls. Or we didn't do finger curls last night, but we were doing other movements stepping on the band. And so this is down to my fingertips, starting with a little bit of tension on the band. You go a little bit wider, make a little bit more. Roll those fingers up into the palms, your into your palms, and then cock your wrists up. So I'm going to go six of those, six of those finger curls. As soon as I finish those six finger curls, I'm going to go six bicep curls. 
All right, with those full bicep curls, I'm gonna keep that band in the palm of my hand. All right, so I'm gonna go palm of my hand. Now uh, six bicep curls. As soon as we finish six bicep curls, guys, we're going back to those finger curls. We're just doing a ladder down to one, six to one. There's my six bicep curls. So you guys, the side angle on those wrist curls. So I have a slight bend in my elbow, down to my fingertips, close my hands, and then cock my wrists up. So maintaining that same amount of flexion in my elbow. So I'm not doing a bicep curl quite yet. It's just a wrist finger curl into a wrist curl. So I'm going five of these because we're going that ladder down to one. Everyone good on that? There's my five. I'm going to close my hands now. I'll go five bicep curls. Like we, always, like we were talking about last week with the different ranges of motion through your wrist for your forearm. You can change that up on the curls too if you want to go neutral grip. Uh, you want to go palms down. Change it up each round. So we're going four now. Four of those finger curls. So down to my fingertips. Finger curl into that wrist curl. We're going four of these. Again, we're a little bit more of a uh, specific warm up now since we're going to be doing a lot of forearm and finger stuff tonight. All right, there's my four. And like I was saying, changing up the angle on those regular curls. So this time maybe I'll go reverse curl. So palms down for four reps. Okay, I've got four reps on that reverse curl. And after those four, I'm going back to finger curls going down to three. Fingers into that wrist curl. Go down to my fingertips, raise those fingers into that wrist curl. There's three. And this time, I get to change up the angle on that bicep curl. I'm going to go neutral grip so my palms facing each other for three. And there's three. Hopefully, everyone's hanging in there on this ladder, this warm up before we get to the good stuff. Let's go two, cocking those wrists. I'm going to show you the side angle again. Rolling the fingers and cocking the wrists. And now I'm going back to curls for two. And last one. Finger curl, wrist curl, keep them cocked up. One rep. All right, guys, how's everyone doing? Everyone's forearms nice and warmed up. Hopefully warmed up and not pumped out. We got our coaching staff present tonight, as always. Coach Jolly Patches, you guys see Friday night in his living room with Rachel and Ace. We got who, our resident, resident dirtbag Alex, he's in. Uh, yeah, Hannah, Hannah's here, Molly, a regular at the gym's back, a regular in the virtual training classes is back. All right, everyone good? How's the music? We need louder, louder music, less music. Um, all right, go grab those tennis balls. Just like last night, we're gonna do a quick little isometric warm up. Full engagement here in your fingers. I got two tennis balls, so I'm gonna go both at the same time. If you only have one, that's fine. Let's go six reps, squeezing those tennis balls for two seconds as hard as you can. Go. Squeeze in and release. Going two seconds each. Squeeze and release. Jenny's back on. Jenny and Matt picked up a couple kettlebells and bands today for our complimentary rental system. Hopefully you guys are putting those to good use. We'll be putting them to good, to good use. So two more reps here, squeezing those tennis balls, using your fingertips. And there we go. All right, let's get into it. Warm up's done. Uh, first thing we're doing, guys. Let's see. I think we have five different, five different things up on here. One, two, three, four. Yep. So I got five different movements or holds. We're gonna go through the whole thing four times. So the first time we'll go through it at a little slower pace, so you guys can get used to what these movements are. So a lot of new stuff. Uh, the second, third, and fourth round we'll go through a little faster. All right. So the first, the first movement. If you have that heavy, something heavy, a backpack. Whatever you got, if you only have one thing, just remember which round you used, which hand, the following round you used the other hand. But we're gonna go 30 seconds, holding these with your wrist cocked up like that. So not straight down, wrist cocked, so 30 seconds right there. All right, that's the first thing, everyone good on that? Second thing, we're gonna go into, uh, grab that tablecloth that you have, roll that, line, roll that tablecloth out right now, put that heavy weight on the end of it. You're gonna be sitting or kneeling at the end of the tablecloth. And you can guys see my fingers, I'm gonna go palms down, pulling this in with just my fingertips until I get it all the way in. You guys good on that? All set on that one, so putting that weight on the end, palms down, just pulling it in. We're getting that in one time. All right, hang in, hang in there with me guys and show you the last two, then we'll get into it. Um, so that, we're just gonna get it in once. Uh, this next thing, we're gonna go 12 reps. If you have a pull-up bar, you're gonna go the claw grip, so thumbs on the same side as your fingers, so don't wrap the bar with your thumbs. 
So when you're holding that pull-up bar, don't wrap the bar with your thumb. Just gonna hold it like that. And we're going 12 reps, just the bottom half of a pull-up, just that limited range of motion, but don't fully extend those arms. We're keeping those forearms and biceps under tension the whole time. All right, 12 reps there. And then we're gonna go two wrist curls, meaning getting it up twice. Get your broomstick, get your resistance band. You're gonna step on your resistance band. You're gonna tuck that resistance band under. So once you step on it, and start curling it towards you. I'm lo I lost it there. You're gonna go until until you can't get that band up anymore. All right, so catches. All right, roughly 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna go the other way. I know lots of lot going on there, guys. Hang in there with me. We'll go slow this first round, um, and then after that, we'll speed it up a little bit. After that, we got a dead hang, which I didn't mention. Sorry, really getting the forearms pumped out. All right, you guys ready? Everyone good? All right, let's grab your heavyweights. We're going 30 seconds. 30 seconds on that cock wrist carry. All right, let's start in 10 seconds. All right, you can grab those heavy weights. Wrist cocked up. Gonna hold like that for 30 seconds. Going two, and here we go. Keep those wrists cocked up for 30 seconds. If you only have one heavy object, if you only have one backpack sack, sack full of weights, that's fine. Just use one hand right now. And then the next round, use the other hand. We're going four rounds on this, so you can keep it even here. All right, so I'm holding here for 30 seconds. You guys see my wrists, they're cocked, cocked up, not straight. We have five seconds on that one, guys. And good, going to your tablecloth or bed sheet, putting that heavy weight on the end, sitting at the end or kneeling at the end if you have it on the ground. My palms are straight down on here, pulling in with just my fingers. Let's get that tablecloth into you. One time, all the way into you. Now try to keep those palms flat on the surface, flat on the tablecloth. I'm lucky here, I don't have friction on this vital bench. If you guys are pulling on your carpet, making it a little bit harder. All right, just using those fingertips. All right, once you get it all the way in, like I said, we're going a little slow this round so you guys can get through it. We're going up to your pull-up bar or hanging from your table. 12 reps if you have a pull-up bar, keeping your thumbs on the same side as your fingers. If you have a hang board going just jugs, we're going 12 reps, bottom half that pull-up. Don't straighten your arms out at the bottom. So I'm keeping some flexion, there's four, Keep those wrist cocked. I'm on, uh, I'm on eight, guys. Let's go nine. And we're going to 12. We got two more. And good. Hop on off. Get your broomstick. Get your resistance band. If you don't have a broomstick and resistance band, I also put on there to grab a shoelace. Um, you can also use your shoelace and that dowel. Just wrap it around there. Uh, putting a weight on the bottom. Putting that over. Giving it a little bit of a tuck so it's got some resistance. There's some friction there to catch. Gonna step on it. Here I go rolling it all the way up. Going until you can't pull up anymore. Keeping those hands high. As soon as your hands start dropping, keep dropping with it and keep going. Keep rolling it up. And I got a few more. Let it go out. And then you're gonna tuck it the other way. So I'm gonna tuck it now on this side of me. I'm gonna go again rolling my hands away. Same thing, try to keep those hands up. As soon as it starts pulling you down, slowly drop your hands, try to resist. Keep curling it up. Keep putting tension on that band until you can't anymore, until those rolls get a little slower and less, and then you can put it down. After that, hopefully you guys aren't too pumped out. Hop back up on your pull-up bar or hangboard. You're going 45 seconds dead hang. If you come off before 45 seconds, you owe us four burpees. All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna face this way so I can see the clock here. It's going three, two, and here we go. We 45 seconds hanging, guys. Keeping that tension in your shoulders. Find a little bit more ab and core um, strength in here. You can squeeze your feet together and put your toes out in front of you unless your abs are wrecked from the last few days. And just keeping that tension in your shoulders. Again, we're going 45 seconds here, guys. We got 30 down, 15 to go. If you come off early, you owe us four burpees. And stay up there, keep breathing. 
In five seconds, we'll take 90 seconds off. Two, and good, 90 seconds off. How's everyone doing out there? Any questions on that? I know, like I said, a lot going on. Uh, but I want to get a good pump in the forearms. Let me see if I missed anything here. Danny's in. Welcome back, Danny. Uh, if you guys didn't hear or don't remember, tomorrow night we're starting our wellness interview series. Uh, which Danny's leading us off tomorrow. Danny and I are going to have a conversation on here, you guys. Welcome to tune in, ask some questions with Danny. He's a massage therapist. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to get to the point where I can go get a massage again, especially after all this stuff. All right, any questions? We're going to go in about 30 seconds. Ask now if you have questions about that stuff we just did. We're going to go through a little faster pace this time. So start with those wrist cocked um, holds for 30 seconds. After that, come in up to, or excuse me, tablecloth. Let me get my tablecloth straightened back out. Pulling that in once with our fingertips. Palms flat on the ground. After that, then we're coming up to our pull-up bar or hang board. Going 12 reps. Bottom half of the pull-up, keeping those wrists cocked. Uh, don't straighten out those arms, keep the forearms under tension. Two wrists, two times getting that dowel all the way up, getting all that tension into the band. Two times, one time each way. And after that, the dead hang. Cody has to do burpees. Sorry, Cody. You got four, three more chances to not do burpees. All right, guys, let's go in eight seconds. Let me find both my weights. We're going 30 seconds on that wrist cocked hang. Two, and here we go. We're going to wrist cocked hold. So again, my wrists aren't down here. Roll them up, roll those wrists up, try to get the palms up towards the ceiling. Uh, yeah, this is a Diplo remix. And it, yeah, it's Dolly Parton and Diplo. So how is the music? Should I turn it up when I get my hands free again? 10 seconds. But yes, it is an island in the stream. Uh, mash up. Let's go, let's go three, two, and good. Weights down. Coming over to your, oh, I better put weight on there or else it'll be real easy. Coming over to your tablecloth, sitting or kneeling, palms flat on here, pulling it in with your fingertips. Let's go get it all the way and try to stay disciplined. Keep the heel of your pan down on the on the surface you're pulling from, so don't grab it with your whole hand. Don't grab the tablecloth or towel with your whole hand. Just using your fingertips to get it all the way in. Adjust the weight accordingly so it's difficult but doable. All right, now we got 12 reps up on our jugs or pull-up bar or hanging on underneath the table. So 12, bottom half left pull-up. Don't straighten your arms out on either end, or excuse me, on the bottom. Don't go past 90 degrees. Trying to roll those wrists and hand, excuse me, roll those hands forward. There's eight. Yeah, there's 12 guys. You guys remember what's next? You got the wrist, the wrist curls with your resistance band. I'll show you this time if you guys had a shoelace tied onto your dowel. Shoelace and weight going twice. It's that same motion if you're using the resistance band. As soon as I get this weight all the way up to my hands, I'm gonna let it roll down. Now I'm going to roll the other way. Uh, keep that pace up, guys. Feel that pump. Going all the way up. And there it is. You guys put your weight down. Weight or dowel down. Dead hang. 40, 45 seconds on that dead hang. If you come off, you got four burpees. Let's go in two, one, and here we go. Uh, keep those feet off the ground. Let's get to 45 seconds or you owe burpees. Keep breathing. Keep that tension in your shoulders. Don't get lazy through your shoulders. Long deep breaths. Em embrace the pump. How's everyone doing out there? Alright guys, we have 15 seconds. Five. And there it is. Ooh, shake it out quick, guys. Get everything set up for the next round. Straighten that towel or bed sheet or tablecloth out. I know mine's hard to see for you guys. It's white on the white bench. 
Grab a drink, shake all those forearms. We got two more rounds of that. Any questions? Can anyone uh, not type yet? Is anyone's forearms pumped out? Or they can't type? Welcome, if you guys are just joining us, we're in the middle. Two sets down, two to go on this first circuit. Getting our fingers and forearms pumped out. Two more sets left on this circuit, then we got another circuit just like that. And you get all your tools ready. Get ready for two more rounds. If you do those holds with one weight, remember to be switching hands each round. Yeah, we got a good pump going. How's it compared to last week's uh, oven mitts and um, oven mitts and what else we used last week? The rolling pin, that's the word I was looking for. All right guys, we're gonna go in 15 seconds from right now, 15 seconds, then we got another round before the last round, so two more rounds. All right, get those weights or weight ready. Our other one set up over here. Let's go in three, two, and here we go. Wrist cocked. Roll those palms up towards the ceiling. And if you're just joining us, we're going to 30 seconds on this hold. Cocking those wrists, palms up towards the ceiling. We got 30 seconds on this hold. After that, we're going into that. That finger, the finger pulling on the sheet, towel, whatever kind of fabric you have. Then the 12 reps in the bottom half to pull up, so all that good stuff. Get ready in three, two, and here we go to your towel or bed sheet. Sit or kneel, palms flat on the surface. Don't take the heels of your hand off. Oh, I just made it really easy for myself. I keep forgetting to put my weight on. Now I'm set. Pulling it all the way in. I'm keeping the heel of my hand on that surface, getting that weight all the way into me, using my fingertips. Come on guys, keep feeling that pump. And now we're up to the pull-up bar. Again, the bottom half of the pull-offs, 12, 12 reps. We're using that table for body weight row, same idea. So I'm gonna go halfway, just under halfway. Don't straighten the arms out at the bottom for 12 reps. There's six for me. Well, there's 10, hang in there for two more. And good. All right, resistance band, broomstick, or whatever pole you have. Tuck it underneath, step it on it. And we're gonna wrist curls, tip it up. Keep those hands as high as you can, as long as you can. As soon as it starts getting harder, you can start dropping your hands and keep it going until that movement gets really small, really little, and then you can let it roll out. Take your foot off, tuck it the other way. This round, I'm rolling my knuckles up, palms towards the ceiling. Let's get that in one more time. Oh. Technical difficulties, there we go. There we go, we're gonna come up, keep rolling. Sorry as you can, get as much tension, as much slack out of the band as you can. As soon as those arms straighten all the way out, you can let it go. Put her down. Finishing up on the uh, hitting board, door frame, whatever you got to hang off of. And here we go, 45 seconds. Remember the rules, stay up there for 45 or else you're doing four burpees. Woo! Good news is, we're almost halfway. Better news is we still got more than half of this workout left. Then you can go enjoy the evening sunset and look forward to the nicer days coming. All right, guys, keep breathing. 15 seconds. Keeping that tension in your shoulders, so don't get lazy. Don't squeeze your head like that. Pulling those shoulders down and back like those scapular pulls we started with. We have three, two. And good, everyone can rest. Get everything set up for one more round. How's everyone doing? Everyone hanging in there? <laughs> no pun intended. One more round, one more round to this one. What's up, Max, zero, two, six.
I don't recognize that name. Wherever you are, wherever you're at, thanks for joining. Everyone's, everyone's quieted up. Oh, Danny went burpees. You got one more chance to redeem yourself, Danny. Uh, any other questions? Can anyone type anymore? Yeah, the pump is real. Keep doing this, Tim, and as soon as you come back in the gym, those endurance laps around the entire cave, we'll get four laps in, no problem. All right, guys, we got 30 seconds, then we're going one more time through that. Everyone good? Everyone's weights ready? Everyone's weights set up, station set up. Going in just about 15 seconds here. Get that <laughs> using your nose to type. Classic. Um, massage those forearms out quick because we're going in five seconds. Get ready to hold those weights. Wrist cocked up. Two. And here we go. Last time with this hold. Keep pushing it. Keep motivating yourself. Keep those palms facing up towards the ceiling. Knowing that there's a handful of other people doing it with you. You're not alone. All right, guys. 15 down. 15 to go on these holds. Keeping that tension in the forearms. Feeling that burn. Feeling that deep pump. Woo. I sure am. And weights down. All right, going up to, you guys remember what's next? Going up to, uh, no, I know, that's how pump time, my brain's pumped out. And I keep forgetting to put my weight here on my tablecloth. Pull this tablecloth in one more time, my white tablecloth on my white, white bench here. Keeping those palms down, heels of your hands down on the bench or floor or table, whatever you're using. Using your fingertips, getting that weight all the way in. All right, guys, get it all the way to you. And now we can go do those 12 reps. All right, 12 reps, bottom of the pull-ups. Keeping that tension throughout the biceps and forearms the whole time. Good, hang it with me, there's eight, 11, and nice guys. All right, get that. Get your broomstick or whatever you have, your dowel, resistance band. I'm gonna go back to my weight and shoelace here, show you guys that one again. This one I'm rolling my knuckles right into the screen. My knuckles are rotating down towards you guys for this first time for me. Let it all the way out. This time my knuckles are gonna roll towards me. Knuckles towards my face this time. All right guys, last time with this. If you're already done, you got a quick little rest before we go into that dead hang. Yeah, you're gonna put that down. Dead hang. Last dead hang, guys. 45 seconds. We're going two, one, and here we go. Last dead hang, 45 seconds. Come on, fight. Fight against those burpees. No one wants burpees. No one wants to do burpees. Better off feeling that burn in the forearms than doing burpees. Long, deep breaths. Sing yourself a song. Imagine all the routes you're going to climb as soon as all this is over. And how awesome that's going to feel compared to this. You guys got 15 seconds. Uh, keep breathing, guys. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, and good. There it is. Shake it out. All right, two minutes to rest. Grab some water. Shake out your forearms. We got one more circuit. One more circuit to go through. How is everyone? Everyone still have function in their forearms, function in their fingers. Get this stuff ready. So this round, you guys still need your sheet or tablecloth or whatever you're using for that. All right, so keep that out. Uh, with this, if you guys have a pull-up bar, been using the pull-up bar, you're gonna loop this over the pull-up bar so both strands are hanging easily. 
evenly. All right, so that's what you're gonna use a towel for. Um, get that tennis ball or football or whatever ball item you have, get that ready. Uh, let's see what else we need. If you have a fingerboard and you're a climber, this time we're going fingertips to grab a big edge. We're going scapular pull-ups in your fingertips. If you're not a climber, you don't have a hangboard, you can do fingertips on the edge of your table for those body weight rows. Uh, what else we have here? What else I line up for you guys? Uh, and then again, finishing with the dead hang uh, for 30 seconds. So we're taking 15 seconds off that dead hang. All right, so first round, so same format. First round, whichever item you have, we're going 30 seconds. You're going to keep your palms facing down. Uh, if you can't hang on the sheet molly, that's fine. You just do um, body weight rows underneath your table instead. So instead of, when we get there, I'm going to show we're going to go two reps up and down the towel. Up, down is one, up, down is two. So just do 10 reps on body weight rows underneath your table. All right, first thing, tennis, tennis ball, football, whatever you have, whatever you have, you're going to throw it up. Catch it on the way down and keep it in your fingertips. So don't close your palm on it. Keep it down in your fingertips. All right, on the way down. So you're throwing your hand down to catch it. Same thing with the football. You know that the football, much harder. Oh, don't lose it like that. Um, so 30 seconds of that. As soon as you finish 30 seconds of that, you're gonna go um, back to your dowel, your pole, put your hands behind your back. And this, like we did last week with the rolling pin, 30 seconds there, as quick as you can. Squeeze in as hard as you can. Uh, as soon as we finish that, uh, we're gonna go to your hangboard. If you have a hangboard on a big edge, scapular pull-ups for 12 on your fingertips. Um, after that, then we're going to your tablecloth that's hanging. You're gonna lay flat on, the, on your back, grabbing this with both hands, feet flat on the ground, hips high, climbing up that. There's as soon as I get back down to the bottom, there's one going up that twice. If you can't do that, if you don't have the ability to do that or a strong enough sheet, just do 10 body weight rows on your table. All right, then after that, uh, dead hangs again for 30 seconds. All right, everyone ready? Hopefully you guys got a nice long rest there, recovering your forearms a little bit to go through this a few times as well. Yeah, new big edges, Molly, something that you can stay on for 12 reps of scapular pull-ups. All right, get that tennis ball or light dumbbell, whatever you, have, whatever you have ready. We're going 30 seconds of juggling, trying to catch that in your fingertips. Let's go in three, two, and here we go. 30 seconds, catch it on the way down, throw a little bit higher, catch it a little bit lower to make it harder for yourself. 30 seconds, keeping it moving. You can just grab it in your fingertips on the way down. If you have a football, Grab a football, make it a little bit harder. If you have um, a light dumbbell, you can do this with a light dumbbell. Oh, there it goes, I got it back up. Uh, if you have weight plates, I do this a lot in the gym with you know, 10 pound plates, five pound plates. We have three, two, and good, get that out of the way. Get your broomstick, go 30 seconds behind you. Squeezing that, rotating as hard as you can for 30 seconds, going two, one, and here we go. Now rolling that through my hands. The reason we're going behind our back is so we can keep our arms straight to isolate our forearms. Going 30 seconds there, so we come out in front, we start using our biceps a little bit more, start doing a little bit more of a bicep curl, just to take that out of the equation. So keep moving those hands, and I'm moving quick, quick here and squeezing hard. All right, guys, keep it going. We have... Five seconds. Two. And here we go. Fingerboard or the edge of your table. Grab a big edge. We're going 12 scapular pull ups. Okay, just moving those shoulders. Driving the chest up towards the ceiling. I'm on six, seven. And there's my 12 guys after that. Go into your tablecloth or. Uh, towel or sheet, do those supine, I call them supine, meaning supine, supine, face up. Um, two times up and down, so hips high, feet 
planted flat, go all the way up, and come all the way back down. There's one. As soon as I get down, I'm on two. And there's my two. Uh, as soon as you guys finish that, going back to the dead hang. 30 seconds on the dead hang again, guys. Same rule, come off, you got burpees. Let's go in. Get you an even number here on the clock that I'm looking at. Two. And here we go, 30 seconds. Nice work, guys. Come on, 30 seconds, these, these sets on the dead hang. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. Three, two, and there it is, 90 seconds off. Oh, shake it out. Keep those hands above your head, massage your forearms, get that blood flowing back out. Everyone good? Any broken uh, objects tonight? No busted door frames tonight? I hope not, because we're not using door frames or anything, unless you're trying to do those pull-ups on your door frame. Quiet crowd tonight. Where's all the hecklers tonight? We don't have our normal group of hecklers tonight. No one's get. You guys don't have much to say. It's, huh? Everyone's outside. Hopefully, hopefully everyone's outside, enjoying the weather, getting some fresh air. Since we had all that rain. Any questions before we go through that again, guys? Nope. All right. Fine. No questions. No answers. <laughs> Two pubs. I guess so. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty pumped too. Let's see if I can do this with the football. Nope, slick. The football's got no friction. I got a limited squeeze left in my hands. All right, guys, get ready to go again. We're gonna go in eight seconds. I'm gonna see if I can do this with the football. If I lose it, I'm resorting to the tennis ball. Right, let's go in three, two, and here we go. Oh, no. There it goes. Tennis ball. Again, keep those palms down, catching the fingertips. I keep moving quick, throwing it up higher, catching it lower, and reacting to it. Try to catch it in your fingertips, not in the palms. Keep it on just your fingertips. You know, those quick contractions, like dead point. You know, how fast can your fingers contract on a hold as soon as it hits that hold? See ya. Well, we got five seconds, guys. Oh, and two, one, and there it is. Get your broomstick, whatever you do, shoulder dislocates with. We're going in three, two, and here we go. We're getting quick. Rolling that through my hands. Roll it through your hands as fast as we can. Hopefully everyone's cranking it. That's why you're not typing anymore. You're too pumped, like Molly said. Keep those hands moving fast. We have 15 seconds to go. Those arms straight, keeping a little bit of
You guys hear me now? I gotta unplug the mic. I don't know what happened. Must have knocked it off. Sorry about that sound, guys. Can you hear me now? Yeah, something happened with the microphone. Maybe, maybe I forgot to charge it. Well, just gonna have to talk louder now. So I gotta take the mic off. Make sure to get this charged up for tomorrow night for our interview. Well, you guys know, uh, you know the circuit by now. We got another time through this. Maybe two more times. We're gonna go in. We're getting even number here. We're gonna go in 15 seconds. Go get that tennis ball, football, whatever you have. Bring that juggling palms down. Palms down, juggling in your fingertips. We you guys going in. Two. And here we go. Pace up. Oh, there it goes. And again, catch it in your fingertips. Move it fast. Quick contraction of those fingers. Like I was saying earlier, making a big move to a little hole. Fingers got to contract on it fast to stay on that hole. Also, be you know, being athletic here, working on that hand-eye coordination, that quickness, touch and go, moving fast through a crowd. Number two, one. And yeah, there it is, grab your broom stick. Going in, back to the side, 30 seconds, go two. And here we go, moving those hands fast. Moving those hands quick. High volume here, as many reps you can get in here in 30 seconds, guys. They keep those arms straight. Spray with all the separation behind you. After this 30 seconds is up, we're going to those fingertips, scapular pull-ups. All right, guys, five seconds. Two, and good. Check it out, guys. Yeah, I think the bike battery's dead. It's chargeable. I've just been forgetting to put on the charger every night. Uh, so I'll charge it up tonight so it's ready for tomorrow. All right, one more round, guys. Uh, while we're taking this little break, I'll give you a heads up now. Uh, as soon as we're done, I'll stay on for a minute or so. I got to jet out of here a little bit earlier tonight. Uh, so I can get prepped. I got it back to back. Uh, UW climbing team, which I'm the head coach of, we're starting back up virtually. Yeah, I'll turn the music down. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I got to jet out of here pretty close to as soon as we're done so I can get to get logged out and re signed back into our private uh, group training session night for the UW climbing team. Uh, we're starting back up our virtual sessions. Uh, we're starting back up practice with those guys virtually, just like this. Uh, one more time through this. Again, starting with that ball juggling, 30 seconds. So get your tennis ball ready, your football, whatever you have. We're going to go in five, two, one, and here we go. 
Good. So keep that pace up. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Keep it in your fingertips. Right, keep it in your fingertips so don't catch it fully in your palm. 15 down, 15 to go. Right, keep that quick pace. You can challenge yourself by catching it a little bit lower. So you have to reach for it. Throw it higher. Catch it lower. Catch it as close to the ground as you can. We got three, two, and there it is. Grab your broomstick. 30 seconds, hands behind you, and here we go. Rolling that quick for 30 seconds. All right, guys, keep it going. Keep going as fast as you can. Last time we're doing this. Whoo, I'm getting nice and pumped here. I am nice and pumped. We got five seconds, guys, and we're going to those scapular pull ups. Two, and good pull ups. Fingertips. Fingertips, can you pull up, going 12. And there's 12. All right, guys, going. Going to your piece of fabric. Again, a reminder, hips high, feet flat and flat. Get to the top of place. One and a half, coming down on two, and then there's two. All right, you guys remember what's next? Finish it up. Dang, last hard thing to finish up here. We're gonna go in five seconds, last dead end, guys. Two, one, and here we go. Come on, use those shoulders. Everything you got to stay in here for the last 30 seconds, stay up here. Don't do those burpees. You don't want those burpees. Breathe in. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, there it is. Come on down. Shake it out. All right, a little cool down here, guys, for an actual cool down slash stretch slash massage. So you come down to the ground just like last week. Get your forearm, top of your forearm planted on the ground, palm facing up. So get in here with your knee, massage now your forearm with your knee. Do about a minute or so, if not more, on each hand, on each arm. After that, you guys come up to your feet. Go palm facing down, pull on it, your fingers toward you. You can intensify that a little more, do the same thing on the ground, but massage, massage your forearms on first. Go on the ground, fingers toward you, roll it back, shoulders back behind your fingertips, get that done. Um, as you guys are doing that, before I gotta sign out to go prep for the next class for the UW climbing team, which I'm excited to start back up with those guys. It's been too long since I've seen that team. Used to seeing them a couple nights of the week. Uh, so I'm excited to get going with that. So Wednesday nights, I'll be logging out a little earlier than most nights just so I get to those guys. But just remember, uh, we got those Kubis Classic t-shirts, little flash sale, again, 10 bucks on those. If you're in the Madison area and you haven't been to Summit, if you buy one of those shirts now, you'll get a pass, day pass to Summit to come use for an actual class in the gym when we open back up, when it's safe to do that. So go you know, DM us for one of those Kobe's Classic t-shirts, uh, bands. Like I said last night, I'm crossing my fingers that those bands come here sooner and later. I got that confirmation yesterday that they have shipped. If you ordered one, I'll let you know once they get in. If you want one, DM me to reserve a band. Uh, we have two resistances available. Uh, those can accompany take home training plans that I wrote up. We got a general fitness core training plan. We have a finger board specific training plan. And I have a finger and core training plan, core slash uh, aerobic training plan. So those three, three week take home training plans. You can add a band on for only 10 bucks or else the bands are 20. Uh, tomorrow, tune in for that interview. So do a workout beforehand. We're not gonna do a hard workout tomorrow night. 
But we're gonna I'm gonna be interviewing Danny, a massage therapist and expert in the field of essential oil. So we're gonna go over some stuff, recover methods, some ways to stay uh, mentally uh, sane throughout this, ways to relax throughout this. Danny's awesome. I go get massages from her, so I'm excited to be talking with her tomorrow. So tune in for that. There's few of the workouts like last night's workout and a couple of the other ones uh, we posted on Facebook uh, and they are also on YouTube so go back and watch those so every few we'll post up on one of those two forums uh, so if you missed all this workout if you tuned in late you can go back and watch it down there other than that let me know if you guys need anything else I will be seeing you tomorrow seeing you guys typing questions tomorrow Danny who's just giving us that big muscle emoji you'll be seeing her finally seeing her face uh, tomorrow as well until then go check go catch the sunset stay positive. You're welcome Nate is gonna Nate.